Uzumaki is one of my all-time favorite mangas and pieces of art that I came across shortly after I was out of high school. Oh, that's pretty spooky, spooky, spinny, twirly things. The artist's name who made Uzumaki is named Junji Ito, who has made tons of work all centered around horror and has made a niche for creating some of the most unique ideas for monsters and the unknown that I've ever came across. He's even made a piece centered around his cat terrorizing him which has made him an out-of-the-box thinker when it comes to horror. But what if we took the horror and made an entire world? Boom! World of Horror. Yep, seamless segue. The game is called World of Horror. Yep. World of Horror captures the spirit of Junji Ito perfectly. Ironically, both the creator Panstaz and Junji have practiced dentistry. I think that information honestly just makes me more scared of the dentist. Can we talk about how Junji Ito hasn't even made a manga on dentistry yet? Instead, we need to make a shark with legs. That is still pretty scary actually, don't tell the Sharknado people this. World of Horror is a roguelike RPG that uses the storytelling of Junji Ito in a choose your own adventure type of format, with all of the art for the game being made in MS Paint, of all things. Here's something I made in MS Paint, just as good. Games like this always show that limited resources shouldn't take away, but rather make your art better because of the limitations. Even the music from the game was made in a digital audio workstation called Pixtone which is a freeware low fidelity music making software that is focused on chiptune music. The soundtrack sounds amazing and the battle themes are works of art in and of themselves. You start in a hub, your apartment, where you choose a handful of mysteries to pursue in order to obtain keys which unlock the lighthouse and get rid of the Cthulhu deity that is causing all of this bullshit to happen basically. The roguelike randomness of the game encourages you to lean into your character's strengths and use the limited resources to the best of your ability. For some characters, the best thing you can do is just beat the hell out of all the monsters you run into, and some other characters do better from just running away or using spells provided from the eldritch knowledge you can obtain throughout mysteries. When you are progressing, Random events tied to the areas in the game give you a choice on how to respond, with different options doing a check on each of the skills you have. Almost like Dungeons and Dragons, but for someone who is a masochist and probably doesn't like talking to people. What do you got a problem with goblins too, racist? What's going on here? <laughs> each of the mysteries have different endings depending on what you do. If you take extra steps and are able to pay attention to the quotas of the mystery, you can get different endings. But, ultimately this doesn't affect the entirety of the playthrough. Each mystery is self-contained, and you are sent back to the hub area to take a bath and then decide which one you should tackle next. The game's combat is turn-based, and you can queue up actions to take against the monster before it takes its own turn, letting you know what resource it's going to affect. Sometimes you can just kill monsters with spells you have because it doesn't consume your turn, but rather points from your character in some way, usually in health or in reason. This game has a lot behind it and isn't even fully released yet. I completely killed a spell run I had from a challenge by breaking my jaw, which made it so I couldn't cast spells in the middle of combat. I was... I was pretty upset. I love it in its current state and I would highly recommend it if the sound of a turn-based roguelike is intriguing to you. I think we tend to, as people, use excuses when it comes to making the best art that we can make. World of Horror will time and time again show you that you do not need the best, most expensive gear to make amazing things. Sometimes you just gotta make some heat with MS Paint and Pixtone. Maybe some Game Maker and bada boom bada bang you got yourself a video game. Dude, those are fucking bars. 